Hey everybody, it's an awesome day today because today is the first day of the week. It's Monday. <laughs> but more importantly, there's some exciting things going on this week. I have a few updates for you. One, I am sorry that I've been a little behind on posting some cool videos the last few weeks. I'm transitioning into a new job and honestly just kind of overwhelmed with it. So I'm doing my best. I appreciate your patience and I appreciate you still watching me. I'm gonna try to get back to my regular schedule really soon and it's gonna be great. Second, I want to thank everyone who's been a member of my Otter Club recently. It's been awesome to see that community grow and just, it just warms my heart. So thanks for all that support too. So today is kind of a bittersweet day for me because it is the day that the IJA Festival was supposed to be happening in El Paso, Texas. If you're not familiar with the IJA, it is the International Jugglers Association. It's an amazing organization that works to improve juggling relationships all around the world and just provide a great foundation for us all to connect over this great hobby that we all love. The IJA is super important to me. It's been a big part of my life for 13 years. And one of the things I always look forward to is the IJA Festival, which is a week-long sort of convention that you go and you get to hang out with all the other jugglers and go to panels and workshops and shows and it's just the best. It's my favorite time of year. I love it. And this year I was supposed to be able to perform at the IJA. It was a lifelong dream of mine to get to be on the IJA stage. Of course, with COVID, I did not get to do that. No one gets to go and it's sad. It's just really sad. But we do get to go to the IJA. Thanks to the help of some really awesome volunteers, the IJA has been moved to the online platform. So they're doing a virtual juggling festival all week long. And the best part about it is it's completely free. Normally the IJA festival is kind of pricey and you have to travel and get a hotel and stuff. And so a lot of people can't make it. Not to mention the jugglers all around the world who often just can't get into the United States because of our really annoying laws. So the fact that the IJA has moved online this year is a really big deal and I'm super pumped about it. So that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. I'm going to go over how you can find the IJA festival and how you can watch it online all week because I know it's a little confusing. And I'm gonna discuss some of the things that that I'm looking forward to the most that I think you really need to make sure you don't miss. Let's get into it. IJA Online Festival 2020. So first off, like I said, this year the IJA Festival is completely free. It is done virtually and so you can just watch from wherever you are for free on the internet and it's amazing. And all you have to do to get all the information on all the events is go to juggle.org festival. There you'll find all the tabs of all the specific things at the festival. If you click on the schedule tab, it'll show you all of the primary events that are happening, including the shows and the big panels. So definitely go check out that page and you'll find the links on the side of that. So all you have to do is click on it and then you can watch whatever's happening at that moment. It's really simple. Then of course, if you wanna learn more about each specific show or panel, there are tabs for that on the page. So definitely read up on all of those. I'm gonna cover a few that I'm really excited about. Um, they are still having a welcome show. I'm not in it, but that's okay because I didn't want to do it virtually anyway. I don't think I could handle that. <laughs> Performing scares me anyway, so yeah, mm. But the welcome show this year is going to be awesome. It is hosted by Keith Bindlestiff, who is just an amazing MC and performer himself. I'm so excited to see what he and the others have come up with for this virtual welcome show for the IJ. That's actually starting today, if not already. I'm really late on getting this video out, so hopefully it hasn't started yet. But if it has, go watch it. Hurry. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's a way to watch it after the fact, but you definitely should. I'm sure it's going to be amazing or was amazing. So make sure you go click on that link. It'll be in the schedule tab of the website and go watch an awesome show. That being said, there are so many shows this week that I'm really excited about. On Wednesday, there's gonna be the Flow Show, which is a show revolving around that idea of flow juggling, which tends to be more movement-based and artistic looking as opposed to traditional technical sport type juggling. That's a whole other conversation, but Flow Show is kind of a newer thing that was introduced at IJ a few years ago, and I've always really enjoyed it. It is such a great, unique style of juggling that really lends itself well to the stage. So if that sounds like it's up your alley, make sure you check out the Flow Show happening Wednesday. I, again, am going to be there. I'm not in it. I'm just going to be watching with a ton of admiration. And then another great show is on Friday. That is the IRC show. The IRCs are the regional competitions that the IJA holds all around the world. Afghanistan, Mexico, Guatemala, England, Russia, 
all over the world. It is such a great program that the IJ has put a lot of time and energy into in order to try to connect all of our communities better. I love it. I could talk about it for a really long time. <laughs> but this show is going to take winners of those IRCs from all over the world and have a virtual show of those winners. It's going to be so amazing to see all these different styles of jugglers from all over the world presented in one show. So definitely go check that out. That will be on Friday. Again, it's in the schedule. There will be a link. Typically at the IJA, there are shows pretty much every night. And the biggest one tends to be on the Saturday night. It is the big closing show, what we call the Cascade of Stars. What a cute name. <laughs> it is composed of the biggest stars at the festival, the best jugglers, the most polished routines. And of course, they have a virtual edition of the Cascade of Stars happening this Saturday night. So again, I know I'm gonna be watching that. It's usually my favorite show of the entire festival anyway, and I have no doubt that the virtual edition will be living up to that hype. Some of my favorite jugglers in the entire world are gonna be in it, so make sure you show up Saturday if you're interested in that. Yeah! So the next thing I'm most excited about are the panels this year. There are some really great ones, and I'm even in one of them, which is cool. If you're not familiar with a panel, it's basically a discussion with special guests about a certain topic, getting their expertise on it. There are some really important panel discussions happening this week that the IJA needs, that the juggling community in general needs, that the world needs. And I want to take a second and just shout those out. There's one on race in juggling and addressing the inclusion problems that we have within our community. I'm really looking forward to this one. I know it's going to be great. And again, it's important because it's a discussion that we all need to be having right now. That one is happening on Friday, so make sure you go check that one out. There's also a really important one happening about women in juggling, which is something I'm really passionate about being a woman in the juggling community for the last 13, 14 years. It's being hosted by Josie May, who is just a fantastic woman and juggler and voice in our community. So this one is probably the most personal for me. I'm really excited about it. And I'm just really thankful that there's a space for this discussion to be happening. And I love where we are right now in the world that we're having these important discussions and that people are listening. The last big one that I think is really important that you should definitely check out is talking about the international juggling community. It's hosted by Erin Stevens, who is a great, great person and juggler. She's the one who basically runs those IRC competitions that I was talking about around the world. And she's doing a panel exactly on that topic of building international communities and how important that is. And it's something that we should all definitely show up to and be aware of because it's all of our jobs to help strengthen that community, not just Aaron Stevens. Make sure that you go check that one out. Those are the three big ones that I think are really, really vital to our community right now and really important. One of the other awesome panels that is happening is the Practice Methodologies panel, which I am a part of. It's a panel full of amazing people and also me for some reason, where we talk about the methods behind practicing juggling. And I'm really excited to hear how all these amazing, talented jugglers practice and then I'll probably mention how I do it sometimes. But it's gonna be great. That will be happening on Thursday, so make sure you check that one out. And those are just a handful of the amazing panels happening. It's gonna be great. How many times can I say the word great and awesome and excited? in one video. Let's find out. Workshops, again, are one of my favorite parts of the IJA Festival. Having the opportunity to learn amazing things from people who are way better than you is great. I know that's why a lot of people are here on my channel, because you look to me for that knowledge, and I love it. Thank you for showing up, and I want to keep teaching you. But there are also some amazing jugglers out there who don't make tutorials, but we'll do workshops at the IJA Online Festival. So go check out the workshop schedule. I can't even begin to list them all off, but there are a lot of them. A few shout outs that I know I'm excited to go to personally, the Diablo workshop, the hoop manipulation workshop, multiplexes, bounce juggling, dots, which are just these really weird tricks that are really hard, and club swinging. I know a lot of people on my channel have asked me how to do club swinging type tricks. There is a club swinging workshop with Kevin Axtell. Please go check it out if you're interested in learning it. I'm also going to be doing a workshop on Saturday about how to make better juggling videos, how to film them, how to edit them, what to keep in mind, all the things that I've been spending the last decade of my life getting better at in terms of filming and editing juggling videos and the thought processes behind that. I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna go over it in a workshop. So make sure you show up on Saturday for my workshop on how to make better juggling videos. 
There are also some extra fun, random things happening at the festival, including a juggling movie night, which I'm pumped for because I love juggling and movies, and juggling movies are the best, as well as a bunch of awards, which are important, and we want to honor those people. There's a raffle going on where you can win some really cool prizes. There's the juggling championship, which you can literally enter right now. It's jogging and juggling, if you're not familiar with that term. I have a few juggling medals myself, until Delaney Bayless broke my records. Delaney. You can literally go enter that right now. There's also a shop where you can buy some really cool merchandise. That's exciting. And for IJA members, you can watch the championships, the people who have competed this year to be deemed the best juggler of the year, which is honestly one of my favorite parts of the festival normally, so I'm excited that they're still continuing that tradition now. But it's only available to IJA members in order to vote, which is so cool. It's the first time ever that members are just able to vote for the winners, so I still have to do that. I'm gonna do it. You have till the end of the week, but you do have to be an IJA member to do that. Which brings me to something I want to talk about. I think it's amazing that the IJA has made this entire week's worth of virtual amazing content free for everybody. I think it's it's just fantastic, especially knowing how much work goes into it. That being said, I think if you can donate any money, even if it's five bucks, please consider donating to the IJA. They do a lot of great work all around the world all year, not just this festival. The amount of good they have done for the juggling community and strengthening it and connecting it is it's so important. It's why I have spent so much time of my life over the last few years helping them with video work. I love this organization. I think it's really, really beautiful. So even if you can give a couple dollars in exchange for seeing this amazing free event all week, please consider doing that. Not trying to guilt you, but if you can, I know that they can really, really use it. Or even better, you can just become a member of the IJA. If you do that, you can get some exclusive perks, like discounts on a lot of the popular juggling merchandise websites. And you get access to their e-juggle content, which is a bunch of exclusive videos from the IJA, including Wes Peden and Jay Gilligan and all these amazing jugglers, past championships. It's really a goldmine of awesome content that you get access to if you're a member of the IJA. The best thing about it is it's really cheap. It's $30 for the whole year, and you can support this great organization and get some of that cool exclusive stuff and discounts on some of your favorite prop stores. But really, it's just about helping the IJA out. So if you can, either consider donating or becoming a member. I know they'll appreciate it. And either way, I hope you have a great time this week viewing the amazing IJA Festival in its online form, just celebrating this awesome hobby that we have. Even though we can't be together in person, we can connect online. So take a look at that festival website. I have a link in the description and just click around and see what things you are interested in. Make sure you check every day so that you don't miss your favorite stuff. And let me know which things you're most excited about this week. What panels, what workshops, what are you gonna be showing up for? Leave a comment, I wanna know. And of course, if you're not already, please consider subscribing to me here because I'll keep making more stuff and hopefully I can start catching up with what I originally wanted to do. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day. Today is gonna be, get even, uh, it's been a while since I did this, this is not good.